my fuel got dampened, as did my spirits. No fire tonight. Ah, uh, that's irritating. Very, very irritating. But, let's see. What questions did I get? Damn near gave myself a heart attack trying to get the damn thing to light. Now I'm stuck out here until I can make sure that everything that did get lit goes out. It's real fun. Loads and loads. What was that? that was a cat. I'm going to pretend that was a cat. I'm certainly not going to question it. Okay. Morgan, 5171. You're asking about the, uh, why the moon looks different and circles. I'm guessing the rings you're talking about are the ones formed by ice crystals in the atmosphere when light from the moon or the sun shines through it. The tighter the circle, the higher the ice crystals. If you see multiple circles stacked on one another, that means there's a lot of moisture trapped in the upper atmosphere and you're gonna get rain pretty soon and probably really heavy. Or snow, depending on the latitude you live in and the season. Uh, as for the moon, you're on the other side of the planet from me. You're going to have a slightly different perspective of it than I am. And tinfoil header. Great name. Again, great name. What did they do? The backstabbers? Well, they got rid of the community tab right about the time I started actually making videos, which, if you're trying to grow a channel, you kind of want to have it. It's a good thing to have. I don't know. YouTube's way of doing business is perplexing. At the best of times, it's perplexing. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with monetization and things like that. I know none of the shooting videos are going to get monetized no matter what I do. And I'm not springing for 20 round magazines when I've got a stack of 30s. I'm, that shit's just not going to happen. The ammunition's expensive enough. I'm, mm -mm. And that was the only two questions we got. At some point... Next time I can get this damn fire lit, I'm going to attempt a live. We'll see how that goes. So I guess anybody watching, be thinking of some questions, topics, Things to discuss. I'm certainly going to. These people ain't paying me, so I ain't showing a logo. <laughs> I don't know nobody at Pepsi. At least not anymore. Back when I worked in restaurants, I did. I do. Also, be thinking about what kind of videos you guys want to see. Expeditions around here. 
not, or at least they weren't all that hard to come by. There's plenty of stuff to see, places to go and visit and look around. You can see some really cool shit, but. <sighs> right now we're looking at, I think, right around five bucks a gallon for gas here. And, hell, it may be higher. I didn't look when I was in town earlier. I was afraid to. And I also need to find somebody to either drive me or run a camera. Because trying to use a mount to get the shots I want isn't going to work. Trying to get passenger pers perspective shots isn't very easy one-handed while you're driving. That's why you only see three or four different roads in the videos because I can't chance going down some of the other ones that I know and holding a camera. Not even driving slow. Some of these roads around here, there's one there's a 15 mile an hour section of it. And right in the worst possible spot. In a curve that's 90 degrees. You know, 90 degrees. But also uphill. There's a sign that says, Ye shall know God. If you're going any faster than 15 on a dry path, and when it's dry, you're going to meet him pretty quick. Now, and that's something else I, I'd like to address. The, the roads around here, they suck. Our, our roads are, are terrible. The, eh, it, recently, all of the uh, bridges and culverts and stuff, they all failed inspection. So instead of doing the logical thing and getting the Department of Transportation to fix that shit, they had them come out and post signs with weight limits for trucks. <sighs> Usually in a spot where it blocks the view of the oncoming lane that you're trying to pull out into. Which is fantastic. It's totally fantastic. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I bitch, but I do love it here. It's pretty. It's mostly quiet. It's actually mostly peaceful. And you can do your own thing, for the most part. That's just how we do things here. It's the South, you know. I wish I had something better to show you than me. But it just didn't work out tonight. Unless this just miraculously catches up in the next hour or so. It's actually cool enough to enjoy it. I think that's why it didn't work. Things on me. Like four hours now. <sighs> hmm. I wish those cameras were sensitive enough to pick up stars. Even with these clouds, we've got a few peeking through. They're pretty nice. Take what you can get, I guess. If I had the money, I'd grab some cheap night vision. That, that would greatly, greatly improve the ability of those cameras to see. And I'm still trying to rig up my little thermal unit in a fashion that allows me to actually move a camera that's focused through it. I mean, it's got its limitations. It's mainly a, a close quarters, close range kind kind of system, but it it does it does pick up for a fair distance further than they actually listed on the uh, 
description, so I was very pleased with it. One of my uh, earlier fire videos, if you watched it to the end, you got to see a little bit of it. I was able to get it to work right at one time, but say la vie, such is life. I think the weirdest thing that has happened to me out here since I started doing videos, and I'm not sure if it picked up, I don't even remember how long ago it was, but the moon was uh, coming up a lot, uh, about now-ish, it was back around winter, and I'm listening to the coyotes and dogs and all that stuff go, doing their thing. The neighbor folks, their goat was kind of going crazy. Their turkey was making a lot of racket. You know, I guess the animals just get their hackles up when the moon's right. I'm watching that bright thing creep over. And about the time that the light would be entering the road down from me, starting to move across it, all of those animals over there shut up. The chickens, the goats, the turkey. They got pin drop quiet. And what I heard in about the next 30 seconds afterwards was something that sounded like something was trying to sound like a chicken and then a goat and then a turkey, and it would just keep trying to go through all three. No responses from those animals. It sounded kind of tinny and hollow, almost like a recording, but it was too deep to have been from a speaker. It sounded like it was coming from the chest of something. I don't know what it was. I have never heard anything like that before. Perfect mimicry of uh, the best mimic I've ever heard from an animal outside of a mockingbird was a rattlesnake. And they can actually mimic the sounds of a cicada. You know that re that raise and then drop. Which, if you're looking for the thing and you know it's there, is distracting. Because you think, okay, that's just a cicada. I don't have to look over there. That's where it's at. It's like the squirrel thing. If you're walking in the woods and every time you hear a noise behind you, it sounds like a hundred, you know, a buffalo coming through the woods. It's going to be a squirrel. 99.99% .99 of the time. That point zero one though, that's that, that's that time you don't think to look because you're like, oh, it's a squirrel. And that's when it's the bear or the mountain lion or the whatever. Personally, I'm just glad that alligators decided not to take the mountains. They do well enough in our lakes here, but Not that I'm encouraging them. You too, buddy. Well, it was big enough that he might have to honk at it. Now if the next car honks at something, 
I know it was big, one, two things. One, it was big enough that it wasn't worried about a car. And two, honking didn't scare it. That's something else with the motion light. <laughs> Anything sets them off. Glock 19, by the way. Anything sets them off. What you're looking for is if there's a shadow, where is it? Is it a low shadow? Is it a tall shadow? If it's a tall shadow, you have a problem. If it's a low shadow, you might have a problem, but more than likely not. I know I ain't gonna sleep tonight. That fire's pissed me off. I'm disgusted looking at it. Little tip for you if you decide to set up these solar motion lights. You probably want to get the ones that don't actually use the batteries until something trips them. And in general, you want to mount them so that you can at least get the snow off of them in the winter time you don't want snow and ice caked up on there they won't work right of course you got to have ample sunlight coming in for them to work sorry if i'm boring you Hello, little moth. Bye.
If I didn't know it was out here, I could actually go to sleep sitting here right now. One of these days, I'm going to get the gumption to put a tent out here and spend the night. I like to do that when it's raining, though. Be a good video. Shifting. Oh. Hmm. I'm afraid to move. Don't speak of the screeching little cackling devils. I've got a baby cicada sitting on my arm. Hey, buddy. What's happening? I wonder what colors will be when you grow up. Right now you're green. If you've never seen a, a full-grown cicada up close, one, they are ugly, but two... Oh, bye, fella. They have the craziest colorations. Black and neon green, black and neon purple. Just a whole rainbow of colors. Amazing little creatures. But man alive. When they get to going, excuse me, when they get to going and singing, it's all you can hear. You hear it for weeks after when they're done, when they when when they finally stop. You're still hearing it. You hear it in your sleep. You hear it in the shower. I'm pretty sure that at the height of their uh, life cycle, or at least in the mating, it's like every 17 years, I think. And they overlap, so, you know, you, you might have one kind coming up out of the woods. When you're five years later, you know, they're doing it, the, the other ones are doing it. Um, I'm pretty sure you could muffle a gunshot with cicada noise if you're far enough out. Nobody's going to hear it. Nobody's going to know where the shot came from.
to pretend the cat shut that off. Anyway, sorry for the disappointment, folks. This could have gone better. I'm going to sign off for the evening. I'm going to go start my hose pipe back up. Make double sure this is out. And head my fat old ass back on to bed. I hope you have a fine whatever time it is where you are. And that the rest of your day is magnificent. Peace.